大家好，我是 Joe Creator。今天我们会听陶喆。He has a new song, but not such a new song, Liu Sha, which has been reimagined with a new video, a new sound. The original one came out in 1997 and has that. Oldy feel to it.、Um, listening to the original, then you have a very stripped back sort of arrangement. You have a melody which is being played. You have a guitar. You have his vocals. But in his sort of soulful fashion, you do have some very nice harmonies in there. Very nice backing vocals, stuff like that. From the technological side of things, you can tell that it's 1997. So. I'm interested to see how can this song be updated. How can it be changed so much to warrant the reimagining of this song? So the big question in 2023 is: David Tao still one of the greatest Mando pop, Mando R&B performers out there? Without further ado, let's listen. Already a bit different. We have this Rhodes piano going on. So smooth. I just want to talk about the production here. I want to talk about the production because I think this is the main thing that has changed since 1997. You can really feel a warmth and a saturation in the instruments here and his voice. Honestly, his voice just sounds like he's giving you a big. Hug with his vocals; they are so warm. It's like he is hugging my ears with these words. It's amazing. And then you have the backing vocals as well, and the soundstage is so wide here. All of these vocals are coming around the sides. The same thing goes for the Rhodes piano. It has this shimmering waviness to it, which is also not just sat in the middle. It's moving around my head a little bit. It's just waving around there, and that's what gives it this. Smooth, wavy feel, and again, they've just got the harmonica going, but it's just got that little bit of saturation in it that just makes it sound warm and beautiful. The reverb on that is really nice as well. These are all, in my mind, improvements on the original. So let's see where it goes from here. The drum groove is just spot on. Oh, listen to that bass line. Oh, it's just perfect. He's 
still got that little accent on him. A really soulful style. Whoa. This repetitive, falling melody really works. It's reversing now. Everything's reversing. Oh, again, this section. The contrast between the front and the back in vocals. Absolute pleasure on the ears, man. That's smooth, man. Wow, wow, wow. What a project. What a revival. I want to talk about the lyrics as well here. I know that the lyrics have remained the same since the last time, but this song in its entirety is still new to me um, with this reimagining, to be honest. The song does not move away from its meaning, its metaphor, but throughout the lyrics, the idea changes. Obviously, the idea here is that the sinking sand is like an unstoppable force. Um, and he's equating that to his feeling of love. With the idea being is that you can't stop sinking sand. You can't stop yourself from sinking into it. It's inevitable. So that's why, for me, the most important line is where he says, Rang wo zhu yang ba. Um, and that's just let it be, just let it go. The song is about sort of accepting that. I think the most interesting thing about this for me though, is that even though it's the same song, it sounds so different to the 1997 original. And I think that the reason for that is actually the fact that the meaning of the song has changed a little bit. For me, comparing this to the original, the original is much sadder, as if this emotion, this realization that love is like a sinking sand has just set in. And it's like, oh, this is a bad thing, you know? Quite lonely, quite solemn. Even though it still has those warm edges to it, I feel like the more stripped back arrangement makes it a little bit sadder, a little bit more negative. Whereas this new 2023 reimagined version is very, very different. The thick, wide vocals, the road piano, which goes through the entire song, makes everything wider and warmer. Vocal delivery of the new song is more confident and less tender than in the original. I think this reflects Tao Jura's maturity in the reimagined version. Obviously, he's a lot older now. He's had a lot more time to think and process the idea of love over the years and what this song means to love. So I think this performance comes more from experience and wisdom rather than the original, which comes more from feeling and realization. Obviously the imagery in the video, super cool as well. It takes that metaphorical meaning of quicksand and just puts it right in your face. And I love the videography in it and everything. Absolutely a complete package of a project to reimagine this song like this. So yeah, conclusion and answer to the question that I asked at the start of the video, yes. David Tao is still an insanely talented and great musician. This little project really shows that. And in fact, you know, his voice being more mature, his ideas being more honed in at the sound that he wants to create just makes this song amazing. Everybody, I want to thank you so much for watching my video. And I will see you all next time. Bye bye.